Hey guys, Darren 78 here from the team of Dire Nose. Uh, we're making a new website, hope you guys check it out in the future. But anyway, just got this iPad 3 and when I was at the Apple Store, they offered me um, this camera connection kit because I make videos on YouTube. And I was like, oh, it's a pretty, pretty good idea. It was only $29.99 and uh, you can actually buy uh, a camera and plug it up directly to the USB using this USB host. Okay. And or uh, this SD card slot. That if you guys don't know what SD card is, I'm sure you do, but this how it looks. And you can also use a micro SD. And you can plug up your iPod and iPhones and every uh, all, those, all those good things. So you can actually um, you can actually plug a keyboard directly into the iPad and it will work. So we're gonna plug this up. Yeah, this is a cheap little um USB peripheral I got from Amazon.com for about five dollars. Alright guys, so I finally got it to work. And you can see here it says this USB device is not supported. I'm going to show you that. Cord leads directly to this. USB device is not supported. So once that pops up, you can actually use it. Alright, space, space, space. G. This is no lie guys, this is not fake, this is real stuff. So we're going to unplug this. And I had another theory, what if we don't have enough money to buy one of those Apple Bluetooth devices? So I got this cheap little Bluetooth keyboard connector from also Amazon. There's the cord. I'm also going to plug that in. Alright guys, there it is, the connected USB device is not supported. Okay, take some time to fiddle around with. Uh, try unplugging and plugging it back. And there it is. This thing is huge. You can see that size compared to the iPad. And uh, you can press OK. We can see. We can also type with it. And a very easy and simple thing to do. So please rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah.